Hey everyone, Forest here. So, welcome to my channel, and on my channel, I am all about health and lifestyle fitness. So, make sure to subscribe and hit the like button because that would help me so much. And I will continue to post weekly um, videos that are requested, and also blogs and um, dietary vlog videos as well. Um, so today I wanted to talk about five reasons. Hey lovelies, so um, I just wanted to discuss a few things that have been on my mind, um, especially for, I've been getting a lot of questions on how to start, how to be self-motivated, and how to just stop making excuses for yourself and just do it. Because a lot of us um, create these illusions in our minds and are filled with like self-doubt and fears that we have that what, what, what will other people think about us things like that so here are so I hope you guys like my avocado background I specifically just got like wallpaper and are not wallpaper but like wrapping paper and just literally took like a like a poster board and put it on it and I was like this is gonna work I'm gonna make some good YouTube videos with this but um all right so let's get started so on this topic today i wanted to talk about five reasons why you should be a self-starter especially if you are nervous going to the gym um a lot of us carry doubts fears um we just have all of these thoughts that run through our mind about what's gonna happen or playing these illusions in our mind about going to the gym or not feeling motivated, tired, or you feel like it takes time and it's expensive. All these things factor in going into the gym. So I'm here to tell you, to make it really simple for you, you have to want to do it, to want to do it. So the first thing is having a desire to actually go to the gym, having an, achie yeah, having an achievable goal, something of sort of a plan or an idea that you have for yourself, um, physical wise um, not to be like super skinny but something maintainable something that you can um, manage you don't have to obsess going to the gym but just having a goal so that's the first thing second thing is having oh sorry second thing is getting rid of doubt and negative self-talk you honestly have to kind of talk yourself into going to, into the gym it's something that you have to want and you have to plan like say you want to go to the gym in the morning so you want to go at night you have to make time for it and uh that brings me to number three so actually making time for something that you want to achieve so going to the gym make some time for it and i promise it will get so much easier once you start implementing this routine for yourself and actually going to the gym making it part of your schedule it's gonna get so much easier and you're just not really gonna think about it like you're you're just gonna go to the gym and that's gonna be your routine so like that's pretty much how I do it now it's just like I don't even think about it I'm like yo I'm gonna go to the gym like I got my supplements I got my pre-workout got my gym shark you know we got that we know we have to get that gym shark uh, or it would be having a workout plan actually going to the gym and having a plan for your workout and so you're not just like doing whatever and not really knowing where to step out i think watching youtube videos or informational videos online can be really helpful especially just starting out um getting into like intervals high intensity like cardio if you want to do strength training knowing what you want really want to work on and then also knowing your goals so you can put that two together and actually have a plan so number four would be having a workout plan and then also you can put that so number uh, five um would be having things that would inspire you to go to the gym like for me i love workout apparel i love having a new pair of sneakers or buying myself some Gymshark, things that would inspire me to go to the gym. Not just to show off, but just to feel good. Um, personally, that's what motivates me. Or also, um, getting a supplement or a pre-workout could also help you too. Um, I am a Bang ambassador, so I definitely always use the Bang products, especially when I want a, um, a little perk or if I need energy. I'm also a mother, so... I have a very full-time schedule. I also go to school, so it's like really busy and like I feel like that's what motivates me. I always look up other influencers on Instagram 
or a fitness magazine or something or someone that inspires me um, physical wise or mentally something to get me in a space where I feel really motivated I feel like these things really help me um, if you do not like what you see in the mirror that's when you know you have to make a change and it's not something that has to be uh, superficial you don't have to obsess over looking perfect I don't think anyone is perfect obviously I'm not perfect um, but I do like to keep myself healthy, which I think being healthy is far more important than anything else. Taking care of your mind, your body, your spirit, honestly, that's what really matters in the long run. Because if you don't take care of your body, it's going to affect your mind, your relationships with people. It just affects your chemistry, um, your gut flora, like a whole bunch of things I can get into, but that's for another video. Um, so yeah, inspiration. Just knowing what inspires Okay, so I just wanted to show you some of the purple product. Uh, blah, blah, blah. Purple, okay. I just wanted to show you some of the bang products that I use on the daily for my workout energy shot. So this is the um, Purple Haze Creatine Shot. And if you're new to supplements, I would just recommend just taking like half the bottle and you should be fine and dandy. But if you wanna go all ham, take the whole thing. Cause you know, some people just like it more intense, but that's okay, that's okay. Um, but yeah, so I just wanted to share some of my pre-workout supplements, um, so this is one of them, and, um, 